provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. And now, folks, it is the third best cook in America. The man who created Healthcraft Cookware and is teaching me so much about this fantastic art of cooking, Mr. Charles Knight. Hey! With a uh, <laughs> new radio star, too. Yes. I understand you got yeah. a radio show now? Yeah, we're, we have a radio show starting Saturday night. It's going to be on from 5 to 6 p.m. It's call-in. It's on, uh, make sure you write this down, folks. It's uh, because I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do on a radio show, but it's, it's on WHNZ. Let me put it this way. you got to talk a lot. You do? <laughs> yes. That's a must. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, you'll look much better on there than you do on a television show. So. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I've That's always, one thing. I have a face for radio, I guess. But it's on 570 AM, and if you want to write the number down, it's 522-0507. So make sure you call me. Will you call me on Saturday? Oh, absolutely. Well, you're good. Okay. Sure. Well, that's good. I just noticed an up and thing when when they did the thing. You disappeared. Your black shirt made you disappear. You looked like just a head. This is a blue shirt. Oh, is it? Navy blue. Oh. Yeah. My wife would be all over you because she claims I can't tell the difference between navy blue and black. Well, guess what? Which I can in bright light. Neither can I. Uh, no, that's, <laughs> I that must thought be that. A guy thing. I thought I that know. was that, black. Well, I thought it was too. In that. Anyway, I do have one other good thing going on. We have uh, the Hillsborough County Fair starts this weekend. Yeah. You know, it runs for 10 days. Right. And Healthcraft is one of the sponsors. So if you come out there and you buy a set of cookware, uh -huh. they give you a book free. Wow, what an inexpensive way to get a Isn't book. It? What a cheap way to get a, yeah, what a cheap, <laughs> cheap company we are. But it's a good book, though. No, it is an excellent book. Great recipe. And good cookware. So that's what's going on this weekend. This is Dixie's Rice Pudding. Yes. Huh? Who is Dixie? Well, Dixie Crystal, our new sponsor. Oh, okay. See, you just lost us 150 bucks. No, there. no, I, I know who the sponsor. I didn't know. Is. I, I thought it was somebody named Dixie. You know how hard Dixie. it was to get that sponsor? No, I know somebody named Dixie, and oh. I thought she had created the well, rice pudding. You shouldn't be mentioning that on the air. <laughs> okay, well, let her fly. How's it Because if go? it's the same Dixie I know, yeah. <laughs> anyway, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you're going to make this because okay. I figured. This would be the most easiest thing I could possibly have you make it today. It looks easy. I can handle everything here. Not screw here. it up. So I we need two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that holds two cups, doesn't it? Yeah, that's Wait not milk, though. That's rice, right, my friend. That's, that's milk okay. right here. It's well, the liquid white now, here stuff. Here they've done it again. Yeah, the liquid white stuff. Now, this one is done properly. Notice the cups things are where the handle is supposed to be. So No, actually, I show last you. See, week you held it the other way. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Look at this. has got it on the same side, too. <laughs> okay, you want two cups it's, of milk. I told you it's your problem, not theirs. Okay. okay. Two cups of milk. Put it on medium high. All right. Let it cook. All right. Now, okay. to this, you must add a half a cup of sugar. A half cup half of... Half a cup of sugar. Sugar, which we've already yes. got that opened up here. We're going to put that in. Of course, in we use Dixie Crystals. This thing here. Very good. You figured out there's a dry one and a wet one, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> what was that, a half cup? That's a half cup. Now, you Seems can put a little problem. bit more if you like. Now, this recipe is only six grams of fat. Well, I'll run over a little bit. <laughs> I think it ran over just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and put the rest back. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That's good. You can put it in. Well, that's a little over, right? Yeah. Now, you can cut. This is six grams of fat. You can cut this down if you like. Use skim milk and use egg whites. Just go in here? Yes, that goes in there. Okay? Ah. Now, to that, you add a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of? A teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. I assume that's vanilla because this is cinnamon. Very okay. good. Uh, you're doing very well today. I removed the labels just for the... Oh. oh that's, there you go. Okay. Now, to that, you also add a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. A quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. These are tough, boy. Have to, Wait a minute. What do they call it? it being ambidex, what is ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Oh, I used to know him. He lived next door to me in Brooklyn. A teaspoon of Andy this. Ambidextrous. There you go. No, 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 no. Quarter teaspoon. Oh, well, that's, that's about that's that. Good. That's, good. That, that, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. It's doing very well. Okay, now, what you've got to do is you've got to mix this real well. While you're mixing this real well, you need to, uh, you need to beat an egg. I think you got a little bit too much cinnamon in there. You can smell the cinnamon. So you beat the, I mean, beat you, the you egg. open it first, right? I mean, we're well, talking about Yeah, how, how do you, you want to beat that the egg here? unless you do open it? You want that in here. <laughs> well, I, I never well, we usually say we need an egg. Well, there you go. I okay. remember the last time you did that, threw the egg shell and all in the thing there. That was only once. Okay, no, 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 no. You can't beat an egg with a spoon. You beat an egg with a fork. Okay? There you go. Now, you got to beat it real good. A little bit quicker. He's already said we've ran past our time here. Okay, I'm perfect. All right, you ready? 
Now, okay. real good. Now put it in here. And you've got this on a high temperature. All right, and you want to mix this until it thickens. Now, this is a very easy recipe. You know, most people make uh, rice pudding. They make it in the oven. Oh, really? Yes. But we're going to make this on top of the stove. Okay. So what you want to do to that now is you want to add a cup and a half of instant rice. A cup and a half? Yeah, now you can use the regular. I happen to like of, the way this uh, tastes. Instant dry rice. cup, yes. Cup and a half of rice. Turn this around here so I can see yes. a cup and a half. You're now right. See, it is on the same side as it was last I time. told you. <laughs> And see, you're side. using the wrong hand again. You notice what happened if you used it the other way. Then what would happen? If I used it the other way? Yes. If you turn it this way, then you'd have a problem again, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> like that, huh? Yes. Yeah, you have a metric thing on the Why side. do you think they put a handle on that? They've got the handle on the wrong side. I'm telling you, the handle ought to be here. The spout ought to be there. Are you right-handed? Yes. Would you normally pour with your right hand? Uh, no, but you, but you should do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm saying you normally it's easy to hold, hold a cup. With your left so hand. So you would hold it with your left hand, and, and you end looking... up with the metric stuff on this side. Okay, well then do it this way. There, now well, then, your problem whatever solved. it is you're trying to do, or with your you're left doing hand. it with your left hand, which I don't is not care. your regular hand. They ought to have left hand ones and right hand ones. Let people go pick them out. Well, we'll have them. What color would you like? We'll these make them Jack here. Harris measuring cups. Go these go on yes. here. I bet if we create a measuring cup that has a right-handed handle and a left-handed handle. Then what? You could probably probably sell them uh, as right-handed and left-handed measuring cups. Okay. Very good. There. Now, all you've got to do now is you reduce this. Either that or put the print on the other side. Okay. Reduce it to simmer. How many okay. people use this stuff anyway, these uh, milliliters? I mean, when's the last time you had a recipe that called for milliliters? About, I would say, nine-tenths of the world. Uh, the United States right. are the only ones that are well, on. Where are you selling these cups? son of a guns? They can't even read Pyrex on the top well, of it. When was the last time you picked up anything but Healthcraft cookware that was made in the United States? Well, I don't Is know. Is that a good point? I don't know that. I, I, I try right. not well, to pick up problem. cookware <laughs> usually. Okay. Now, over here. Okay, over this I want to show you something brand new. Okay. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, Healthcraft has come out with some brand new products. Wow, I didn't know that. Yep, we, we've gone into the bridal registry business. The bridal registry? Yeah, we opened up our first store in town and country. We've got a display of China, crystal, and cookware and tableware there. See, folks who own horses and need equipment, bring come right on That's in. right. Well, you have bridles there, too. I don't get that joke. But anyway, all right, this is all mouth-blown, hand-cut crystal. Mouth-blown, hand-cut? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fully, fully leaded crystal. And look uh -huh. at this, this beautiful china that we've come up with. Isn't that Is that mouth-blown hand-cut, yes, too? Yes, we do this in our garage. <laughs> okay, I'll bet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I like this one. Though. I this can't go what, any further with that. Is this part joke. of it? Yes. Anyway, what we do here now, all right, what you want to do is you want to take the... Mouth-blown hand-cut. See, this is the wine glass, but you can use this for desserts, all right? All right. Put that... Isn't that beautiful? That's... Right. The fluted nature of that would this. lead me to believe that this is a... Um, Oop. Let's see. Okay, top it like this. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. And you have to top it with a cherry. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, you need a spoon, don't you? Yeah, here we go. This is over here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. How about that? Isn't that Let something? Let me grab a microphone that's, here, that's Rose. Made with it. That takes 20 minutes to cook. That's nice all it taste. takes. Yes. Give it a shot. Isn't that beautiful? You know, if you used minute rice, it'd only take a minute. That's what I just did use, minute rice. Is that minute rice? rice? Why does it take 20 minutes? Mmm, delicious. Like that. That's another thing. Hey, if you like a coffee, you like that, huh? Rose is so excited. She's all worked up. Send a stamp self-dressed envelope to Dixie's Rice Pudding Box, 888 Tampa 33601. And please do send a stamp self-dressed envelope, and we'll send you a copy of this recipe, Minute Rice, in only 20 minutes. From Charles Knight, and we'll be back with Massey, Matthew Lesko in just a moment on Harrison you. Company. Isn't it good? Good to see you. This segment of Harrison Company has been brought to you in part by Dixie Crystals. Put a little Dixie in your life. Don't miss the Healthcraft Cooking Show, where you can receive the Healthcraft Kitchen Machine, Healthcraft Liquid Core Electric Skillet, Healthcraft Herbal Tea Brewer Coffee Maker, or the Cheftel Commercial Cutlery Set absolutely free. Come see this exciting cooking show and learn how to cook meals that are healthier, better tasting, and more economical. See the Healthcraft Cooking Show live at the Hillsborough County Fair at the Florida Expo Park, also known as the Florida State Fairgrounds, in Tampa, September 29th through October the 8th. You slam the door. Your heart is pounding.